Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking the video. It means a lot to you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And today, I really want to look at the people who I feel like have zero chance at winning this game. Whether it's based on their edit, their gameplay, you know, their personality, their jury chances. I don't know, whatever. There's just some people every single season who I feel like immediately lose right out the gate as soon as I see them for an episode. If you guys haven't already, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it's free, it's easy, and it really helps the channel out. Okay, so the first person I feel like who just simply has zero chance of winning, and this is based on uh, this guy's just personality, it's not edit. Overall, when I think of this guy, I think of weakness. Obviously, he has physical weakness, he has some mental weakness as far as him being kind of a type B personality, which isn't great at like a final travel scenario where he has to plead his case. I really couldn't see him doing that effectively. And lastly, I'm going to say a relationship weakness because he's going to have a showmance. And some people are kind of downplaying this saying that it's not going to be that, you know, important to him or it's just like a, like a, a small friendship. But Jeff said in an interview that he hopes that the sh showmance lasts. So obviously this means probably two things. One, that they do at least make merge. Uh, and of course, two, that one of them has to go home. And honestly, three is that they're probably close th throughout the season, which is not good for his game here. I think out of hi him and Franny, he's the worst player, which can spell bad things. When people try and break them up, they're probably going to just get out Matt because it's a lot easier. Not to mention that on Matt's tribe, there's already a majority alliance of, of course, Carson, Helen, and Sarah. And of course, in, in the secret scene, we, we saw that Claire is also doing well. So it really does leave him and Franny kind of alone. Uh, so he's not really in, a, in the best spot here. And I think it's just spelling bad for him early on. He may make it through the merge, but he's just not going to win the game. The next person I have is actually based for gameplay reasons, and that's Jamie. I mean, Jamie had one of the most weak moves I've ever ever seen on survivor in a moment where she didn't really have to right nobody was relying on jamie she hadn't made promises to either side so she could flip either way and she, she wouldn't be betraying anyone the reason that i do credit matthew using his shot in the dark here is because he made an alliance to brandon and then kind of wanted to blindside him so he said i'm just not gonna vote here i feel like it was completely unnecessary she wastes it and she shows that she's unreliable as an ally. She makes the same move as Gathew. The difference is that she didn't have to. And it just shows that she has a weakness as a player and a, a real lack of a killer instinct, which is I think is really, really important if you're going to play the game in a uh, strategically advanced way. I think she's at best a goat for her. At worst, she's going to go soon on her tribe. Her edit also was not very forgiving, showing her to be like some sort of likable character we really didn't even see where she was leaning going into tribal and the only reason that we got really good content from her was because she was going to play the uh, the shot in the dark um of course she's the first successful shot in the dark player uh, but that really says nothing about her gameplay the next person who i feel like again just has very little chance to win is danny massa um, and of course, there is the edit issue where he didn't get much content uh, in the first episode, but I'm, that's not really why. It's more of his demographic. Of course, Gabler did win last season. I, I, I have to acknowledge it. But there's a reason we were all absolutely shocked, and that's because we just don't expect people like Gabler, aka white men, to win in this new era where these juries have their own agendas. So, of course, if these juries want female winners and POC winners, then they're simply going to get them. And that doesn't really involve Danny Massa. He's your stereotypical white firefighter from New York. So of course, I could never see like him or like a, a guy like Tom Westman winning in, in this new era. So I think it is appropriate to put him here um, kind of in this uh, bottom dwellers group, even though he hasn't done anything wrong to this point. The next person for me who I feel like has no chance of winning uh, is Brandon, actually someone who I'm kind of rooting for at this point. Obviously, he got a, a great edit in the first episode, getting tons of content. But the issue is the content he got was in relation to Maddie, a person who went home. So, of course, the opposition to him had to be given a good edit. I mean, if she, she targets a guy and she goes home, so that guy has to be given favorable edit because if not, then we're going to be rooting for her and then she's going to go home and we're all going to be angry. Um, and so I think the, the, the idea there was solid. It worked out, uh, but people are kind of mistaking this for some sort of winner's edit when in reality, he was just in the, the right spot at the right time. And speaking of a wrong spot at the wrong time is him in the idol. The way that he found that was very, very silly. And the, the way that it played out really really hurt him and his game i i feel like overall the worst possible thing that that, that could have happened was him him finding that he's already a big guy a big target and now he has an idol 
that he found publicly now i will say he played it well here playing the idol the, the first round just getting rid of it and also in, in the process saving himself and getting out his biggest adversary in maddie but the fact that he was even in this spot in the first place is horrible i don't think that, that they would have blindsided him if he didn't have the idol i think they would have just gone for the e easy vote in maybe a lauren or a weak player like jamie but because he has the idol here it's a huge target on his back and i i think stuff like that will eventually catch up to him maybe not with this next tribal maybe even not in the pre-merge but there's absolutely no way that he's gonna stumble his way to, to the end here and on top of that be able to win I, I just don't see it happening his threat level is monstrous really just after the first episode which is horrible so i can't imagine after episode 5 or 10 or 13 what his threat level would be like another person for me who i think has zero chance here is claire i think claire to me of course everyone's hyped up because apparently she has some sort of secret scene which shows her like dominating her tribe and running everything but one the thing with the secret scenes is if it's not in the show there's probably a reason and it's probably not that important here um, maybe because they, they, they don't go to tribal or because she isn't really in control or there's some sort of flip later on uh, and two because she was given this kind of villainous edit of course there wasn't much villainy but I do think she was given just a slight bit of a villain in, in her edit for the, the premiere and that's never really good I mean you don't want to be a villain in the first episode because people aren't gonna like you and the editors aren't gonna make, make their winner unlikable from the first episode so I do think overall that Claire is kind of set up to fail here and lastly a person who we didn't really see much from here in, in the premiere is Heidi we saw a lot from everybody the edit this year is a lot more balanced than last year's where we just saw like Sammy and Cody and that's about it uh, we definitely saw a lot more in this episode episode of just everyone it's, it's very spread out uh, and it shows more balance editing but I think the person we didn't see here along with a few others is Heidi um, I, there really wasn't much here and I, I think the whole reason that she's on the cast is because of her crazy personality so if she's not being shown for that what is she going to contribute to the season I mean may, maybe she makes a stupid move maybe she just has a bad edit and, and she's like a purple edited person I have no idea but to me if you don't get basically any content in the premiere it's a very hard to have winning chances here and i really don't, don't see her having that that winning edit although maybe i'm wrong and she's you know a great player i, I just we really haven't seen anything from her but what do you guys think who has a zero percent chance of winning let me know down below in the comments as always none of this happens without you guys without you guys i'm sure we're guys speaking into your microphone that's what i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace